Good morning, my children, and once again, welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to continue with a new letter that is part of the alphabet. But before we commence with this letter, and of course, the object that we have with this, let's have a review of the previous letter in a small form. If you remember, we have also a review of names of the fingers. Let's have it one more time so we can remember also the name of the object. So, names of fingers, remember, we have thumb, index finger. The thumb is the finger that we use to express like or don't like. Index finger, the finger that we use to point, señalar, to point an object, un objeto. Then, of all five fingers, the one in the middle is the tallest, el más alto. Middle finger. Then, next to the middle finger, we have the ring finger. Now, for this finger, we have accessories that we collocate here so we look fashionable. Para vernos más a la moda, para vernos más atractivos o elegantes, vamos nosotros a utilizar anillos en este dedo de aquí. Por lo tanto, this finger with the teacher Jacob is called ring finger. And finally, of all digits, this one is the smallest, el más pequeño, and it's called little finger. Okay? Now, as I mentioned it, for this, for ring finger, we have an accessory that is called ring. In Spanish, anillo. Now, remember, rings are made either of gold or metal. And they have a beautiful stone known as diamond attached to them. Recuerden que los anillos pueden ser de Pueden ser de, de oro o de metal y tienen una piedra muy hermosa llamada diamante incrustada en este. So, don't forget, ring, small r, anillo. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, today we're going to continue with another letter of the alphabet. But before we commence, let's have a review of all the letters in general that we have been studying since we started the course for this because we have capital letters let's have review of vocabulary so capital A for capital A we have airplane apple ant apron ambulance capital B for capital B we have objects as balloon ball bear Remember bear, an animal of the zoo in Spanish, oso. For capital C, we have the coin, we have the clown, we have the cat. Meow, meow. For capital D, we have dragon, we have doll. Remember the doll that is part of toys. We have the dog, a pet. An animal that belongs to the family of pets, perro. And of course, the door. For capital E, we have eagle, we have elephant, we have egg. For capital F, we have fish, we have farm, which in Spanish, if you remember, granja. We have fat person also with the capital F. For capital G, we have girl, grandmother, glow, and the glass. Remember the glass, the object that is made of crystal. Then we have capital H. For capital H, we have hammer, hand, honey. If you remember the honey is a uh, food that is produced by the, by the bees. Honey in Spanish, miel, es un alimento que es producido por las abejas. 
Then for capital I, we have igloo, ice cream, insects. For capital J, we have the jacket. Whenever we are cold, we put on a jacket. We have jeans. We have juice, which in Spanish, jugo. For capital K, we have kite. Remember the kite, a toy that is made of paper with a string on it so we can hold it. In Spanish, cometa o papalote. Then, with capital L, we have the log. Now, remember, the log is a part of the tree. In Spanish, tronco, and we also have legs. Remember the legs, part of the body, the last part of the body, piernas. Capital M. For capital M, we have mother, mom, which are the same, and milk. Remember milk, color white, leche. For capital N, we have nurse. Now remember, the nurse is the girl that helps the doctors cure people. Nurse enfermera. Capital O, we have octopus, an animal of the sea that has eight arms. We have orange, we have owl. Remember the owl, the animal that belongs to the birds and appears at night, make noises as owl, boo. And then for capital P, we had pencil, pig, like Peppa Pig, for example. Peanuts and postman. Remember postman, the person that delivers the letters, Carter. Then for capital Q, we had the queen, the girl that wears a crown on top of, his head, of her head with beautiful stones. La uh, queen in Spanish reina, recuerden que es la mujer, la niña, que utiliza una corona con piedras hermosas llamadas diamantes, okay, y que se encarga de gobernar un país. And finally, with capital R, we had objects as radio, ruler. Excellent, you remember another object. Ring, of course. Very good. And for today, capital S, the new letter. Now, for capital S, we have to be careful not to confuse it with capital C. Both of them are completely different. Capital C, capital S. Like the sound, the pronunciation of this letter is like the sound of the snake. Capital S. Okay, very good. And the object of today, the object that we associate with this letter is star. Now, a star is a shiny object that appears at night, okay, up there in the sky next to the moon. We have the moon here and stars are surrounding this object. And the stars, we can only appreciate, appreciate them and see them only at night. Because remember, in the morning, we have the sun and the clouds. Para el objeto que, te, que vamos a trabajar con la letter S, tenemos star, una estrella. Recuerden que las estrellas son objetos brillantes que aparecen allá arriba en el cielo únicamente en las noches. Ahora, si ustedes recuerdan, en las noches tenemos la luna. Pues, en la luna, alrededor de esta, tenemos infinidad de estrellas eh, brillando para pues iluminar nuestras nuestra noche y nuestros sueños ok recuerden que estos objetos únicamente aparecen en las noches porque en las mañanas es cuando tenemos el sol y las nubes so capital S for star 
Now, before I explain the activity of your teddy book, let's have a pronunciation exercise. Vamos a empezar con nuestro ejercicio de pronunciación antes de que les explique lo que vamos a hacer en su teddy book. Así es que recuerden, para esto yo lo voy a decir primero y quiero escucharlos a todos desde donde se encuentren viendo el video bien fuerte. Capital es. Star. Very good. Now, once again, listen to the pronunciation. It's not estar. No se dice estar. It's, it's pronounced star. Star. Very good. Excellent. Now, the activity of your books the activity is located right here in your teddy book, page 176. Okay, 176. As you can see, we have the letter of today, capital S. So, using our pencil, holding it properly, we have to trace all examples of the letter. Now, remember, while we are tracing the letter, let's repeat its name, capital S. Capital S. Capital S is for star. Star, a shiny object that appears at night, begins with the letter S. Capital S. Now, once you have finished tracing all examples of the capital S, then we continue with the painting of the object which is the star. Now, for a star, we have colors as yellow and color blue. But if you want to use another one, there is no problem. It's optional. Okay? Once again, while you are painting the star, don't forget to repeat its name. Star. Star. Very good. Now, on top of the activity, we have a small sentence that it says. This is nuestra pequeña oración. The star, la estrella, the star is in the sky. La estrella se encuentra en el cielo. It's in the sky, es en el cielo, the star, donde se encuentra la estrella. Very good, my children. So, that's it for today. Teacher Jacob is very happy that you concentrate, that you pay attention, that you repeat the vocabulary, that you remember the vocabulary, and you practice the letter of today. So we continue tomorrow with more activities, more of the letter S, including new objects. Have an excellent afternoon. Take care. Goodbye.